Hello everybody. Solmus sent me this picture of a Favier tubular heater and asked how I would model such a thing. Since I thought this somehow fits well to my current house renovation activities and I should make a little break from hammer and chisel and power drills and wires and things and record this tutorial. Before I do that, another little remark. I will do more model tutorials, but don't expect anything soon. House renovation is still priority number one. So let's do this. If we have a closer look at this picture here, you see this is a spiraling construction around such a tube. And on top it is pretty sharp and on the bottom it has these uh, alternating dents or however you will call this. So let's switch to Modo and see how we can do such a thing in Modo. Okay, I start with a tube. I want to have it on the x-axis position at all zero and I make it 50 by 5 by 5 millimeters. This is probably uh, and only 12 edges. This is probably not the right dimensions but you can make it as long as you like. So I hit the A key go to polygon mode and delete these two polygons delete and then I add uh, a lot of edges in here alt C uh, doesn't really matter I take 250 and use uniform mm, maybe 244 makes more sense for what I'm planning to do and click in the viewport now I select the third edge here and the third from here press shift G to uh, select between, press the L key to close these loops, then Alt 3 to convert to polygons, then go to polygon, uh, triple, and now we can go back to edge mode again and backspace delete this. And now you see I have constructed uh, such a spiral and I can now select these edges Z key right click to activate the tool R key and pull this out as far as we like. I have by doing what I did produced these n-gons here and uh, I did it uh, before and made uh, triangles and uh, remove these triangles. You can have a look at my tire tutorial how to do this. And I thought the n-gons are less a problem than the, the triangles. So I leave these n-gons. Anyway, uh, I select two polygons here, press the L key, then I press the B key for bevel and bevel this out on the blue handle by also 5 millimeters. Then I add a single edge in here, uh, add loop at about 20%. Yeah, that's okay. Next we can remove some of these 
outer spirals so I select this one two three one two three and then we can also take away these press the L key check the ends I don't want to get rid of this edge here and we have the same problem on the other side keep this one and then backspace delete let's see how this looks in sub d mode so tab that looks good that looks good enough for me good now one part is done and if we look back to uh, to the picture then uh, we see that the proportions of my model are wrong i should have used more edges in here maybe double and uh, also uh, the entire thing probably longer but anyway the technique to do it is the same okay so one part is done and the next part is going to make these dents so I select these vertices here shift middle mouse button select every second row then I go to top view a key and now we need now we need a fall off a linear fall off and make it symmetric on the end and I bring it out from here to here so this must be all zero this must be minus 50 and zero here then W key and on the positive side move this by five millimeters I make everything with five millimeters then go back to this view here space to drop the tool then select these rows of vertices these ones these ones and these ones and go back to top view then I can W and this time on the negative side minus five millimeters now let's drop everything and have a look how this uh, looks perspective tap and this is what I wanted to do so let's uh, make sure this is centered and then go to F11 snap to grid then I go to duplicate clone I need three clones and bring this up to two about no mm, to about twenty millimeters. Okay. Now I want to see the grid and I go to front view and go out of sub D mode <coughs> then make sure snapping is active with the X key we can toggle snapping so shift C and I cut a 45 degree through here is this right 
this is right. And then another one through here. And another one through here. Hmm. and another one through here. Okay. Now I do the same on the other side. Now we can delete these polygons, delete, select these edges and bridge them. Do the same here, delete these polygons, delete, select these edges and bridge and select these edges and bridge them as well. Now we can select all these edges. No, no, not these ones. These ones. And these ones. And B for bevel with the square shape and bevel this like so. Good. That's it. Uh, now we can assign a material like uh, copper. Go to the render camera, A key and find some nice view like this one go to um, take a studio environment, go to render, uh, here metal copper, take this one and I want the copper material not to have so many reflection rays, otherwise the render takes forever. I go down to 64 and what I also do is in the mesh surface properties I go up with the render level to 6 and now we can hit F9 and render this. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope it was helpful. Take care and have fun modeling with Modo. See you some other time. But as I said at the beginning, don't expect anything soon. So thanks again and bye bye.